This is Tokyo, Japan. I got invited by Fujifilm for the launch of the X106, and I wanted to share my experience with you. My name is Fernando Martinez, and before I begin, I wanted to share some context to this narrative. I have been working with Fujifilm cameras for over a decade, and the X-Mount cameras as a workhorse were almost the start of that venture, with the X100 series being close to my heart. Now, how did I get here? Well. Fujifilm gracefully reached out to me and a colleague, Seth Miranda, with the great news of being part of their 2024 X Summit to test out the latest iteration in their lineup. In planning the trip, I knew Seth, a photographer by trade, would focus on the stills, and me predominantly being a filmmaker, got the absurd idea to shoot the entire video using just the X106. Hesitantly so, I just went for it. I wasn't aware of how keen my muscle memory was to use the X100 series as simply just an image capturing device. As I challenged myself, I couldn't help but think of how much I missed shooting stills. It felt familiar that with a quick press of a button, the ND would immediately cut four stops of light. And at the same time, it felt strange not using the hybrid EVF slash OBF while shooting. Reframing my mindset, I formed a new learning curve. Something as simple as how I carried the camera did the trick for me. With its very angle LCD popping out most of the time, I just got going. Tokyo moves pretty fast, and some of my fellow shooters in this trip move even quicker. I had packed and planned to use my gimbal to get big, smooth sweeps, but decided against it once I noticed how we were all moving as a group. Testing out the new IVIS, I just went all in and shot the entire piece handheld. The city itself is very welcoming to street photography, and I hadn't felt as comfortable shooting street as much as in Tokyo. I decided on 4K 60 frames per second, 422 10-bit using F-Log2 as my go-to settings. A bit of familiarity since I'm used to shooting on the X-H2S, which I use regularly. So as I'm sure you've noticed in this video, I've included some of Seth's images throughout to showcase how good of a street photography camera it still is now with 40.2 megapixels. Not losing any of its DNA, just substantially improved. It's better at capturing the finer details with higher megapixels, now having HAVE as an option to JPEG, and of course the new film simulation Riala Ace. Seth explained how this camera really brought him back to when he just wanted to shoot images. You sometimes lose that when you make a career out of it. He kept it stripped down, being aware of the location and keeping the shots in black and white to remove any distraction of color until the moments where he felt it could shine if the color was introduced. He wanted these images to remind him of the experience. See, for Seth, Having tools like IBIS and built-in four-stop NDs allow him to do slow shutter drags in daylight without overexposing, catching the motion as it's happening, while the higher resolution allows him for cropping in when he didn't have the reach. Under the cover of night, Tokyo becomes an entirely different experience. You notice details that you might have missed during the day, almost as if they were just sleeping during daylight, just to come to life as soon as it gets touched by darkness. The nooks and crannies of the city light up in a cozy, warm tone that welcomes you into street food, drinks, and places to commute with friends. All that stays are the memories we create. All this to say that with a different camera, I would have been distracted from experiencing all the great moments and friendships made in this incredible trip. A problem I did not have with the X106. If you're considering purchasing this camera, I hope this video has helped guide you to test it for yourself. Now, for those of you who have used and loved the X100V, this is your old familiar friend with some new additions to help make you an all around better storyteller. That's all I have for now. My name is Fernando Martinez. 
and thanks for watching.